Hello everyone. All right, so I know I usually upload or I try to upload on Thursdays and we are a day late on this, uh, but I had a lot of things to kind of figure out over the last 24 hours. Um, so originally I was going to upload two different videos. One was gonna be an update on my Saxenda. The second was going to be an update on my doctor's appointment. Now, I kind of realized I didn't really have very much at all to say for a sex and the update. I'll start out by saying nothing changed from last week again. So I figured I would just kind of meld this together in with my update about my doctor, uh, as well as a big, big fail I, I had happened last night. It was, yeah. Anyways, so I had my doctor's appointment yesterday. Um, great, wonderful. Uh, he said I am on track and everything looks good with my weight loss. I'm still losing the average weight per week that they are looking for me to lose, which is spectacular. However, that being said, he did choose to move me over to Wigovi, which is fantastic. I figured that was pretty much what we were going to do anyways. So here we are. Um, he, he says, you know, you've been at the full dose of the sex in for a little while. Let's get you started on the Wigovi. Now, for anyone who does not know, Wagovi works very similarly to Saxenda. However, it is a weekly injection rather than every single day, like I was doing previously with the Saxenda. Now, uh, he gave me I think it's two months of refills because that's the next time I go in and I have a, like a follow up. Now, the first month, uh, four different pens, one per week, is 1.7 milligrams. And I think the next dose after that is 2.4 when I go to pick that one up. And then I believe that's like the full dose that you are on, on Wagovi. And he thinks that'll be a lot more like efficient at helping me with, you know, my weight and everything. And, you know, all sounds great, but last night was my first Wigovi injection um, that I was supposed to have. And it was an epic failure. So the way Wagovi works is very different than the Saxenda does. Saxenda has like a little like pen needle thing that you put on the end of the pen. Uh, you can see the needle, it's right there and you're the one who kind of jabs that in and gives yourself, you give yourself the injection that way. With the Wagovi, it's very different. You don't see the needle. It's in there, but there's like a little, I wish I had it out here, but Anyways, it has like a little end on the end of the pen and the needle's hidden inside of it. Now, you're supposed to hear two clicks when injecting the Wagovi. Basically, you push down like that little end on the pen into your body where you're gonna do the injection. You push it down and it moves, slides back and forth. And as it slides and you press it against your skin, basically you're supposed to hear the first click. And that is basically here you go, the needle is entering the body and you are now being injected with the medication. After that, you have a second click and you'll see like a little yellow bar come across where like the medication window is. Your little yellow bar slides across and then there's a second click and that says basically it's done, but past that you're supposed to hold like the pen in place for, uh, my pharmacist said about five to 10 extra seconds just to make sure and then you remove the pen and you're good to go. Here's the problem. My first ever injection, my first ever pen was a faulty one. And what happened was I pushed the pen against my skin and nothing. I pushed harder and harder to the point where I could literally feel the needle like pressing into my skin. Like I was manually almost like pushing into my body. And as hard as I pushed, it still didn't click. And I tried everything. I literally, I left it there for a little while. I'm like, I'm just gonna hold this in place. Maybe there's a delay, nothing, still nothing. So then finally, after holding that pen there for ages and ages, I was like, okay, I guess, you know, do I pull it away, take a look at it, see what's going on. I slowly start backing the pen away from my body. It's still touching like the, the front of the pen area is still touching my body. All of a sudden, as I'm pulling it away, the pen clicks and the medication just spills everywhere. It was a mess. I, 
and I was like, oh my gosh, like, so I had no idea. I was like, did any of the medication get in my body? I can't tell, honestly, like these injections don't really hurt that bad. So like maybe some of it got in, some didn't, I don't know. So, but there was so much of it that spilled out everywhere that like, even if I got something, I feel like it was hardly anything. And I'm kind of like, oh no, what do I do now? And this was pretty late at night because I take my medications before I go to bed. And so, I, you know, I couldn't really call anybody at that point in time. So this morning, I mean, I sent a message to my doctor this morning and I called the company that makes the uh, Wagobi. And I, I told them what happened and everything. And unfortunately, yes, it, it sounds like the pen failed. It was a faulty one. It happens, I get it, that sucks. And because I am starting at a little bit of a higher dosage after coming off of the highest dosage of Saxenda, they cannot do any type of like replacement of the pen that I wasted. And because I basically because I had not known if anything got injected or not, you know, I don't know that it's you know safe to try again and plus i only have so many pens now per my doctor's advice it's just you know get to next week stay on course do the injection next week uh the next one in the, the land of pens but my fear is you know now it's going to be a full week of me potentially not having any medication in my body and then jumping on to that dosage of the Wagobi. So I, I don't know, I keep going back and forth. I'm gonna do obviously what my doctor recommends for me. Um, he's gonna know best, but still, it just sucks. I was so ready to try out something new. Today's a day off, you know, just in case there were any bad symptoms. Like it was just good timing for it. And we had this happen. Now, even though they cannot send me a replacement of the pen uh, I am still they're still gonna send everything so that I can send in the faulty one to them I told them I would really like for them to have the pen anyways because I want them to be able to you know improve the product in case this is something that's happening to other people too um, so I want them to be able to take it back and you know check it out and see what happens so I will be sending back the faulty one to them uh, as soon as everything gets here like the mailer or whatever they're sending me so that I can ship it to them um, but man, like if anyone else is on a similar medication, like the way it works and everything, let me know if you've had that happen too with the, the leakage thing, faulty pens. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm scared now. I'm scared that'll happen again and I don't think I want to risk it. So I think the next time I, when I do do the next dosage, I'm going to inject into my thigh instead because it's like a more sturdy area. I guess you could say to like jab it into versus my belly is like really soft and so I don't know if that was part of the issue I don't, I don't know so that's where we are I don't know if anything was actually injected I don't feel anything today I actually feel super super hungry today and I don't know I sent another message to my doctor asking basically you know I still have like a whole pen of sex and the left do you want me to try even like a lower dosage of sex than that to cover me until my next you know Wagofi dose like what do you want me to do um and we'll see what he says but that's that <laughs> so I can't even like give you an idea of how this medication is going to affect me now because I don't know I will say if anything did get injected I don't feel any different today aside from being really hungry I'm like ravenous um but that's it. Obviously going forward, I'm gonna let you all know how the future injections work with me. And obviously I'm gonna do pretty much what I was doing with the Saxenda. I'm gonna go through each week and update like side effects. I'm going to update on weight loss, everything like that. And uh, let you all know how it goes. And we'll see. See this bug bite. I'm gonna put my mosquito right on my chin. It's crappy. Uh, but that's basically all that's happened. That's why I kind of put this all together into this one video instead. <laughs> it's just been a lot. Plus, I also, I'm, I'm fostering a little itty bitty kitty. 
a little kitten and uh, he's super, super cute. And he is gonna stay here for a little while, get nice and healthy and eventually go to his new home. He is a little gray tabby with like a little like beige kind of face and little beige legs. And he's super, super adorable. He's way tinier than I expected him to be when I heard from the person who had rescued him, the siblings. The siblings found homes already. Um, and he was the last one and this person could not hold on to him any longer, unfortunately. So he is here now, we're taking good care of him and uh, checking in on him just to make sure that nothing else comes up health wise. Uh, he's gonna get all the care he needs, deworming, he needs, uh, check up on one of his eyes. He has a little crusties that are forming on like one of his little eyes. And it's enough each morning that, you know, I think it needs a, a good look at, cause I know eye infections can get bad fast if you don't keep an eye on them. Uh, so he's gonna go to the vet and see if he needs any special ointment or anything like that for that. And so, yeah, it's just a lot been happening in the last like 24 hours or so. But you know, we're, we're still chugging along. And that's basically it. So my weight is still the same as it was. Um, I, I spent just under 13 weeks on sex. And uh, you know, if I get another update from my doctor saying to continue the sex end for the rest of this week or whatever, I will update you all on that as well. Um, I do think maybe potentially I lost a tiny, tiny bit more. Um, I'm dealing once again with stupid constipation which is a big thing with saxenda and also with Gobi from the sounds of it um so i'm gonna see if i can do something to help with that but you know sometimes you know that can lead to you thinking you're not losing and then all you have to do is go to the bathroom and then you've actually lost some weight so we'll see and yeah today i'm hoping to get some work done with my plants out here that's all though it's been a long time since i've I filmed all my plants and everything, but I've been slowly cleaning things up. They had kind of gotten out of hand for a little while. and um, Yeah. I also have this new, this baby that I've saved from somebody. And uh, it was not in the best shape. I had to do a lot of, a lot of trimming, but holy cow, like it's huge. It's a little over three feet long, some of these vines i the ones that were like super stretched in between the leaves i trimmed those and i'm doing some propagation of those and the ones where the leaves are pretty close together i'm gonna let that be um it looks very pretty so anyways that's that just want to give you all an update on everything and uh yeah i'll be back when i do have another update and i hope everyone is seeing per usual, healthy and happy. And I will see you all again, either very, very soon or next week, depending on what information I get, hopefully today. Anyways, I'll see you all again pretty soon.